Hey guys, in the following video, we will be talking about the page layout and specifically when trying to implement a template that the theme has already preset. Uh, in order to do that, you'd have to go into the backend of the page that you're trying to work with and then just scroll down to the layout section. Uh, there you'll see the three options, how to's, templates and layout. In the how to's, you'll find a couple of videos that will help you with setting uh, the layout for uh, the page and explaining uh, everything that you need to know about the page settings. In templates, you'll be able to find all the options that the theme has in terms of layout templates. And you can choose any of these to implement on any of your pages. And in the layout, you'll see the current layout applied, which right now it's the one that's on default where you have the header, the WordPress title, the WordPress content, and the footer placeholder. So when you're trying to create a layout for your page, you have two options. You can either use one of the templates from here, or you can build it yourself. All you have to do is just remove the two WordPress blocks, WordPress title and WordPress content. And from here, from the add block option, you can select the blocks that you want to use for this page. Here you have a list of all the WordPress blocks and here you have flex block where you'll be able to choose the layout that you want to use for this specific section. Here you'll find all the layouts available for the style kit and for the theme. And I would recommend you to go through all of them and just explore all the options that are available so you know exactly what you're trying to use for your pages so you make it more unique and more entertaining. That's one way to build a page. And like I said, the other one would be to use a template. So let's choose one that's in here. For example, I want to make this page look like home C. Here you'll be able to see a preview on how the page looks like. And in order to apply it, just press on this button, press on OK. And by doing that, it will rewrite the current layout that I had of only those two free blocks with the layout that was pre-made for that template. So you'll see that that's how it's changing in here. So you have the header placeholder, then you have the left title with one image centered, the text block and so on. So in order to make changes, for example, if you want to change the order that the blocks are in, all you have to do is just drag and drop them in the order they want from here to here, for example. In case you don't need one of the sections in this layout page, all you need to do is just delete the block. You can do that by pressing here on this button. And in case you want to add something new to the page, all you have to do is just scroll all the way down. And again, just click on add block and select the block that you want to add in here. Uh, you'll notice right away that there are two uh, different tags for these blocks, WordPress and Flex. Uh, that means that in Flex blocks, you'll be able to do any change you want, uh, given the options that you have. With the WordPress, you won't be able to have the same flexibility uh, they will basically be blocks uh, like the ones that you used to have on your classic themes. One more thing when working with Flex, you'll be able to uh, navigate the layout of the page directly uh, from Flex. So to do that, press on any of the Flex blocks and then go to Open Builder. And you'll see that you have a new tab here called Layout. So when I press on that, you'll see a list of all the blocks that you have on this page specifically. So let's say right now I'm working on this one and then I want to go directly to the testimonial block to make some changes in there. So I'll just click on this and I'll be automatically redirected to this section and I'll be able to make the changes that I need. Other than that, the process is pretty much similar to how you used to do that on your classic themes. All you have to do is just either apply a template or just select the blocks you want to have for that specific page that you're working on. 
For any other questions, feel free to use our documentation on how to work with the page layout and see you in the next video.